there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a very quick tip for you, and I call it eroded background stamping. Ooh, doesn't that sound Halloween-y? Well, first thing we're gonna do is take a rubber stamp and we're gonna spray it with clean water. And then I like to shake it, get off any of the extra droplets, and then we're gonna put a piece of white card stock on top, and we're gonna stamp just like it was ink. All right, I'm sure we've got our water transferred here and we could see that it's, you know, by the glossiness. So we got some, we got our water there in an interesting pattern. It's not going to be as defined as a regular stamp. Then I'm going to quickly blot the excess. So we'll have damp paper in our pattern. And then I'm going to use color dusters and some ink, just using dye based ink, just using, um, stamping up. And then look at this. I'm just brushing over that and look at the magic pattern up here, but it's not so perfect and crisp. It's like a, it's kind of eroded looking. It almost looks like lace. Blotting really helps. That, the version I showed you first, I did with Distress Ink and I didn't blot it, so it was very much more, um, oh, hit or miss, which is a cool look too. And then I did these with the Stampin' Up ink pads and I blotted it first before I stamped. So experiment with it. It's something new for you to try for your scrapbooks, for your stamps. This stamp is from Lost Coast Designs. I'll put a link under the video so you can check it out. And as always, thanks for watching and happy crafting.